हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड कॉन्सेप्चुअल प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लिमिट्स राइट एंड हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस लिमिट दैट इज लिमिट एक्सटेंस टू जीरो पॉजिटिव दिस पॉजिटिव साइन शोज दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड द राइट हैंड लिमिट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन वेन एक्स अप्रोचेज टू जीरो फ्रॉम द राइट ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो right so here we have the point x is equal to 0 and we have to find the right hand limit of uh, this function when we approach towards x equal to 0 from the right of x equal to 0 right and here uh, the function is x over 100 and greatest integer of 200 over x right so let us uh, uh, find out the value of this limit right okay so what we will do here uh, see uh, here we'll apply the definition of a fractional part function right see we know that the fractional part of x is defined as x minus greatest integer of x right and remember the domain of uh, fractional part function is uh, uh, the set of uh, all real numbers and the range is uh, uh, given by Uh, the interval that is uh, 0 to 1 right so it implies that uh, the fractional part function it lies between uh, 0 and 1 right so this concept uh, uh, will be utilized here to evaluate this limit right so here uh, we have uh, 200 uh, over x the greatest integer of 200 over x so what we will uh, do see the fractional part of 200 over x can be written as using this definition that is 200 over x minus greatest integer of 200 over x right so this concept is important to uh, solve this limit right so see if we take this uh, Uh, this term to the uh, left hand side and this term to the right hand side see what we will get will get greatest integer of 200 over x is equal to 200 over x minus the fractional part of uh, 200 over x right and now uh, this term that is greatest integer of 200 over x uh, uh, will be replaced by uh, this term right so now uh, this limit uh, let us uh, call this limit as l so now this limit l uh, can be written as the limit x tends to 0 uh, positive and we have x over 100 and now uh, we can write here 200 over x minus the fractional part of 200 over x right okay so now uh, what we will do further uh, see i uh, will uh, multiply these two terms by x over 100 so now we can write limit here we have x tends to 0 plus and when we multiply uh, 200 over x by x over 100 then x and x will uh, get cancelled and 100 to the 200 so we are now having 2 minus x over 100 and here we have the fractional part of 200 over x right okay now here uh, will now take x is equal to uh, 0 plus h right so here we are taking x equal to 0 plus h because uh, uh, we have to consider a point in the neighborhood of x is equal to 0 right so here uh, uh, somewhere here uh, this point that is 0 plus h uh, lies right so when x tends to 0 then obviously h tends to 0 and this quantity h is uh, infinitesimally very small right and it always uh, lies between uh, 0 and 1 so h is a positive quantity but it is a very very small quantity right so we have to remember this fact so now see this limit l can be uh, now transformed into uh, in terms of h so we can now write limit h tends to 0 and we have 2 minus for x we can write 0 plus h over 100 then we have the greatest uh, the fractional part of uh, here we can write 200 over 0 plus h right okay 
so now we can uh, further write it as limit h tends to 0 here we have 2 minus h over 100 and here fractional part of 200 over h right okay so now uh, we have to uh, calculate the value of this limit uh, when h approaches to 0 right so now we can uh, rewrite this limit as 2 minus c uh, we can take uh, a limit h tends to 0 here h over 100 and here we have fractional part of 200 over h right and now we can write 2 minus uh, 1 over 100 can be taken outside and we have a limit h tends to 0 and h and fractional part of 200 over h right now we can further write it as 1 over 100 limit h tends to 0 and we can write uh, this h as c here we can write 200 over h fractional part of 200 over h divided by this h can be taken to the denominator by taking uh, here a 1 over h right so there is no harm in taking this h or writing this h as 1 over h right so this is the important uh, step in this limit right so now uh, here uh, we have to uh, make use of this uh, uh, concept of range right so the range of uh, fractional part of x is uh, uh, from 0 to 1 right so here uh, we see that uh, this uh, fractional part that is 200 over h it always lies between uh, 0 and 1 right from the definition of fractional part function or from the definition of range of fractional part function the fractional part of x uh, must lie between 0 and 1 right so this quantity 200 over h the fractional part of 200 over h it must lie between 0 and 1 right and uh, remember h is a very very small quantity here right okay so it means uh, we can take uh, this fractional part of 200 over h as uh, some quantity say k right and k is some uh, real number uh, which lies between uh, 0 and 1 right so now uh, this uh, fractional part of 200 over h uh, may be replaced by this uh, uh, quantity k right so now this limit l it uh, reads as 2 minus 1 over 100 and we have limit h tends to 0 and this is some constant or some number k lying between 0 and 1 so here I can write k over a 1 over h right so now we can further simplify it so we can write 2 minus now we can take this k outside so we can have k over 100 and now we have 1 over limit h tends to 0 1 over h right so these steps are very important in calculating this limit right and now see uh, h when h tends to 0 obviously uh, limit h tends to 0 uh, 1 over h it goes to uh, infinity right so here uh, we have 2 minus k over 100 and uh, we have 1 over uh, infinity right or this is a very very large number right so 1 over infinity is uh, uh, 0 that is limit h tends to 0 1 over h tends to infinity it is a large number so we have k over 100 so here we can write uh, 1 over infinity may be replaced by 0 so now we have 2 minus 0 that is equal to 2 right so the value of this limit is uh, uh, the right hand limit of this function when x goes to uh, or approaches to 0 from the right of x is equal to 0 is 2 right